What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Thanks for pressing play. Today we're going to talk about three different things involving the C8 Corvette, but most notably an interior redesign for the 2023. All right, guys, so like I said there in the beginning, we are going to be talking about three different things today. The first one's gonna be the interior redesign possibility of the 2023 C8 Corvette. And then we're gonna talk about two potential options coming for the C8 Corvette Z06 that are actually kind of cool and kind of eliminate one of the problems with the C8 Corvette, in my opinion. But before we get into that stuff, guys, if you could please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, let YouTube and myself know that you are liking the content, it helps the channel, and it also helps circulate this video around to all the other auto enthusiasts. While you're at it, go ahead and smash the subscribe button so you don't miss any future updates like this one. First things first, guys, we are going to talk about the interior redesign. The C8 Corvette has only been around for two model years at this point, and on the third model year update, we are supposedly going to get some sort of interior redesign. Now, this article actually comes to us from our friends over at thecorvetteblogger.com, but they got their information from Motor Trends. So you'll want to take this one with a grain of salt, just like all of the other rumors, but this one has some sort of feeling to it, in my opinion, that sounds like it could be legit. And and as usual, I know of at least three websites reporting on this, so that's why I'm bringing it to you guys. It's not necessarily just an isolated article that no one else confirms. One of the things about the 2020 C8 Corvette that was always an interesting topic or a hot topic amongst the owners and the Corvette enthusiasts was the interior. So specifically the giant wall of buttons that separates the passenger from the driver. Me personally, I never really had an issue with it, especially after seeing it in person, it really didn't seem to be an issue, but you either love it or you hate it. And for those of you out there who hate it, you might like what's coming next because there is supposed to be an interior redesign that specifically focuses on that wall of buttons. And that's kind of how the Corvette blogger article starts out. It says, our personal take is that once you get used to the buttons and their functions, it is very intuitive to control the HVAC systems. Instead of having to get into the touchscreen display and having to navigate several screens to get to those controls. But we can't help but feel a little sorry for the passengers who feel somewhat isolated from the driver on the other side of that downward sloping row of buttons. Now comes word from Motor Trend's MT Confidential section in their April 2021 issue that suggests a redesign for the Great Wall of Buttons may be in the works for the 2023 Corvette. Here's what the Motor Trend Confidential has to say. The C8 Corvette's somewhat fussy styling was already locked and loaded when Michael Simcoe took over at GM Design Chief. But sources in Detroit say that the mid-cycle redesign Simcoe had originally planned for the 2025 has been put on the back burner as GM pours money into its electrical vehicle program. However, an insider says an interior redesign aimed at, among other things, fixing the array of buttons and switches cascading down the buttresses on the right side of the center console has survived the bean counters. The redesigned interior will reportedly appear on the 2023 C8s. To me, this is kind of interesting because through the entire C7 Corvette generation, we never really got any huge updates like this. No interior redesigns, no exterior redesigns for the most part outside of different performance variants. And now we're supposedly gonna get one for the C8 Corvette Corvette after only three model years. Definitely an interesting thought here, especially considering there was originally a plan for an entire redesign, possibly even an exterior redesign in the year 2025 for the C8 Corvette. Now, for those of you who don't know, GM dumped a lot of money into the C8 Corvette, specifically the engineering and the testing and all that good stuff. So odds are good they're gonna stick with this platform for a little longer than they did with the C7 Corvette. And with that said, that kind of implies that there may be a redesign of some sort in between the many years that the C8 Corvette exists. So we could potentially see an exterior redesign along with an interior redesign. I wouldn't necessarily speculate that it's coming as soon as 2023, but the word from Motor Trend is we could have it sooner than later. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below if you think the C8 Corvette needs a redesign on the interior or the exterior. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Anyway, guys, moving on to the next piece of information. Again, comes to us from the midenginecorvetteforum.com. Fantastic source of information for anything C8 Corvette. What they have to say is two things. The first one is going to be the C8 Z06 being very likely to have a carbon ceramic rotor setup. 
Now we've talked about this in the past on the channel, the C8 Corvette Z06, especially the Z07 packaged car is very likely to have the carbon ceramic rotors that the C7 Z06 with the Z07 package also had. Basically it's gonna give it a better braking capability and no brake dust, that's my favorite. Now the reason this is all but confirmed is because of this Cadillac CT5V. The new Cadillac has an option for carbon ceramic rotors and it is likely going to pave the way for the C8 Corvette Z06 to follow suit. Now, the mid-engine Corvette forum goes on to say that, as standard, the CT5V Blackwing is fitted with the performance cast iron brakes, which I also think the C8 Corvette Z06 will be. But I do believe the Z07 package is going to get the carbon ceramic rotors, as the thread on the mid-engine Corvette forum goes on to say that basically the carbon ceramic rotors for the Blackwing are going to be an option. It's not going to be standard. It is going to be something that you have to select and obviously will add price to the car, just like the Z07 package would for the C8 Corvette Z06. Now, there's a lot of benefits to the carbon ceramic rotors. I said earlier that the lack of brake dust was one of the big ones. That is a, a huge benefit, but that's not actually the big benefits from carbon ceramic rotors. The biggest benefit is going to be, of course, weight. So with the Blackwing, the standard iron rotors weigh 36.6 pounds a piece. Now, the carbon ceramic version, 16 pounds. So right off the bat, you're shedding 20 pounds of unsprung weight, which is huge for a performance car. Over the four wheels, you're shedding over 63 pounds worth of unsprung weight. Again, gigantic. This is a huge thing for performance cars. Unsprung weight is more than just your typical 60 pounds. So if you remove your back seat and you lose 60 pounds off the weight of the car, it's not the same as unsprung weight. This is rotational weight. And that is huge for a performance car like the Z06. Now, one of the reasons why the Cadillac Blackwing might be paving the way for the C8 Z06 with these kind of options is it would make sense for GM to buy these rotors for the Blackwing but also have them on hand for the Z06. So it's very, very likely that these cars will not only share the same kind of options, but probably share the exact options. So the rotor is likely to be a direct swap from the Blackwing to the Z06, just to save cost and also have the parts on hand as soon as possible. As with all this stuff, guys, these are just rumors. These are speculations, but they do make a lot of sense whenever you think about it at the production level. The next bit of information is something Something similar. It's also for the C8 Corvette, and it also comes to us from our friends over at the midenginecorvetteforum.com. And this time, we're talking about the wheels. Now, we've talked about the C8 Corvette Z06 wheels on this channel before, about how the carbon fiber wheels might not be your best option if you plan on daily driving this car, or really, even for track use, they might not be the best thing for you. There's a couple different reasons why, but the main one is, of course, they're fragile. They could crack, they could break over potholes, or even high G-force turns. With that said, I do believe that the carbon fiber wheel will be an option for the Z07 package of the Z06 anyway, so it's not something that's going to be standard by any means, because it is going to be an expensive option. But if you do opt for that, you should probably know the risks before you get into it. And if you don't know what the risks are, I talk about it more in a video that I recently put out. I will link to the top right of this one if you want to hear the reasons why you should probably think twice before selecting that carbon fiber wheel option. Now with that stuff out of the way, guys, let's talk about how the black we might pave the way for the Z06 again with an option that the Blackwing is getting as far as wheels are concerned. The Blackwing doesn't offer carbon fiber wheels, but as a lightweight performance option, instead of carbon fiber, they offer mag wheels. So mag wheels are often used in high performance road cars and are almost universal on professional competition vehicles because of their lightweight and their ability to hold up on the track. Again, those high G-force turns, the road driving of Pennsylvania with a bunch of potholes everywhere, mag wheel might be the better option. Now, depending on who you talk to, the mag wheels aren't necessarily as nice or as sporty looking as an actual exposed carbon fiber wheel. But at the same time, when it comes to wheels and it comes to brakes, you kind of want reliability over cool looking, right? So again, this is an option that comes on the Cadillac Blackwing. This is one of their ways of reducing weight without necessarily reducing reliability. With that said, this is what I believe the C8 Corvette Z06 will likely come with as either an option or possibly even standard. The Z07 package is almost guaranteed to come with the carbon fiber wheels as at least an option, possibly standard as well. With that said, the magnesium wheels might be your best bet 
yet to make sure that you have reliability and lightweight on the Z06 slash Z07, even if they are slightly heavier than the carbon fiber wheels. Now, as usual, guys, I will post all of the links in the description down below to these articles that I'm reading just so you can check them out for yourself. But I am curious as to what your opinions are here, guys. Do you think that the C8 Corvette is going to get an interior redesign anytime soon? If yes, let me know down below what would you like to see redesigned. As far as the Cadillac Blackwing offering carbon ceramic rotors and mag wheels, do you think that that's kind of foreshadowing what the C8 Z06 might offer us? Let me know down below if you believe that that's the case and if you'd be okay with those options. I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say about this stuff because I love engaging in conversation about the Corvette, specifically the Z06, because that is the car that I have wanted since before they even announced the C8 Corvette officially. So yeah, let me know down below what your thoughts are. But that is it for this video. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the content, shoot them in the comments section down below or send me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com and I'd be happy to get you an answer. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of Corvette content coming you are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.